Hello, sixth grade. Today we are starting to solve equations um, by keeping things in balance. If you look back at your notes, which you took a screenshot of today in class, the very first thing we did was we made a straight line through the equals, and that was the same as a straight line through the hanger. Then I'm going to look at what's on the left side of my equation. It says 10 plus c plus c plus c. And I'm going to write that here on the left side of my hanger. 10 plus c plus c plus c. And then I'm just going to double check that that matches. Yep, it does. 10 plus c plus c plus c. On the other side is 34. So on the other side of my hanger, I'm going to write 34. Put a box around it. Okay, step two is to combine like terms. So there's a whole bunch of C's over here. There's a whole bunch of C's on my hanger. How many C's are on my hanger? There's one, two, three. So when I combine like terms, instead of spreading them out like that, I can just rewrite it as three with a C, three C. Then I'm going to keep everything else, 10 plus, and on the other side is 34. There is 10 plus 3 C's on the left, and on the right there's 34. The next step is to isolate the variable. So if I look just at the left side, can I, can I look just at the left side? There we go. Wow, I have to zoom in a lot. If I look just at the left side, I see that it isn't just letters over here. There's also this 10. So if I want to isolate the C's, i got to get rid of the 10. But I can't get rid of the 10 because there's no 10 on the other side. So instead, I'm going to write a 10 and change the top number. I need to change the top number to something that when I add 10, together it will equal 34. Plus 10 equals 34. If you know that number, you can just write it in the top box. But if you don't know the number, you need to switch this around to a minus problem. 34 take away 10 will get you 24. And that number is the one that goes up in the top box. Okay. Now I can take away 10 from both sides. I'm going to cross it out because there's, oops, not that one. There's a 10 over here too. I'm going to cross it out on the left, and I'm going to cross it out on the right. And that in my equation looks like this, minus 10 on the left side and minus 10 on the right side. Now I'm going to think about what's still left on the hanger. When I look back at the hanger, the left side still has three C's. And the right side has 24. So that's what I'm going to write. The left side has three C's, and the right side has 24 equals. I can't just take away this 3. And the reason why I can't take away the 3 is because there actually isn't a 3 on the left side. That 3 tells us how many C's there are. This 24 is going to get split equally, get a good color here, into one, two, three C's. So that means divide by three because there are three C's. When we write division for the equation, we write it as a fraction. 24 on top of three means 24 divided by three, and I have to write it on the other side as well. That means that each C is 24 divided by 3. And when I put that in my calculator, 24 divided by 3, I get 8. C equals 8. This is probably the answer. I will know it's the answer when I go back up to the top and I write 8, 8, 8 above the C's. And then I repeat 10 plus, plus, plus. When I put all of this in my calculator, it needs to equal this amount. 10 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals.
34. So I have checked it over. Yes, when I replace C with 8, it balances. It makes the same number. Okay, the second question, the second problem is just a little bit trickier because it has H's on both sides. So I'm going to help you get it set up, and then I want you to try to solve it. So I'm going to make a line right through the middle, and I'm going to make a line right through the middle. And this time on the left side, I see 25 and an H. So I'm going to write 25, box, H, circle, there's 25 and an H, and an H. On the other side, I see 3H plus 13. So remember, that's not 3 and an H, that's 3 H's. 1, 2, 3, 3 H's, and 13. Okay. We have to isolate the variable. That's absolutely true, but I also want you to notice that there's an H on each side, right? So this one's going to be a little bit different. The big hint is you have to figure out how to get the H's just on one side. So you got to get rid of that H, right? So give it a try. We will talk about it tomorrow during our Google, Google Meet virtual class. Good luck.